When Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler tried to talk with protesters Wednesday night, many let him know how they felt. I don't believe I have had a lack of action. I know there are people who think I've not moved fast enough. One of those who talked with the mayor in person is Max Smith. He's a father of four and crunches numbers for a utility company. He's also a regular at the protests, pushing for social justice. I came away feeling like he understood what I'm saying, but I also came away feeling like he's not going to do anything different. I caught up with him in his parked car today. He knows that opposing federal police now at the courthouse complicates things, but says sending them home is part of solving the puzzle of racial justice. Yes, we're out here for black lives, and then all this other stuff happens, but we still, so we have to deal with that. We have to deal with the fact that Trump is now involved in trying to change the narrative and make this a bigger thing about him. And we have to focus, because on the ground it's the same. For us down there, the feds coming in is really not much different than how we were getting treated before. They came in and we were fighting for, you know, the defending of police in support of black lives. In a crowd of a thousand or more, there are often conflicting priorities. But Smith says it's a result of ignoring black lives for so long. With all this coming in, it causes more confusion and there's more going on and now there's more people and the other reasons people are there. And that's true. But I think that that actually shows our point that black lives have to matter. If we had just fixed the problem when it was about us, it wouldn't be anybody's problem. That the protests happen in downtown Portland is not lost on those who own businesses there. The plywood reveals a once vibrant city core has battened down the hatches. How's it going down there for your store? Horribly. <laughs> um, our sales are down 60, 70 percent. Stacy Gibson owns five subways. One is in downtown. Is there a feeling that downtown Portland is dying? Absolutely. Without a doubt. Um, I can't imagine wanting to keep our business here. Um, our lease is up in a year, and I don't know why we would stay. She said things started getting bad a year ago with the homeless issue, and now with the pandemic and then the protests and no end in sight, the city's core is likely doomed. Things just change, and, it, and people don't want to live here anymore. Uh, people in our building are going to head to the suburbs, business owners, the same thing. It's, you, don't, you don't have any support here is the way that it feels without you know, the police getting their hands are tied. And the fact that we're going on 52, 53 days of this is ridiculous. It, you guys just need to get it together and, and solve the problem quickly. So will the mayor's appearance at the protest change anything? Not locally. Ted Wheeler becomes one of the leading mayors in the country, along with the mayor of Chicago, the mayor of Philadelphia, you know, big cities that are out there that are taking on the Trump administration. Pacific University professor Jim Moore studies politics. He said it's clear the nightly confrontations at the federal courthouse are being used by the president. Whether that's good or bad depends on your point of view. Portland is being used as a stage. When that stage gets spread out, when this happens in more and more cities, it'll be fascinating to see. Do people see it as the president, in effect, manipulating those cities so that he can get his supporters riled up and out to vote? Or do they see him as playing politics with people's lives and the ability of those cities to govern themselves? The protests are expected to continue not only tonight, but certainly through the weekend. In fact, businesses downtown have already been warned they should consider closing up by five o'clock if they want to avoid trouble. In Northeast Portland, Pat Doris, KGW News.